good day. The state television company of Western Armenia presents all the most important events of these days. Today's broadcast on May 8, 2022, an official ceremony dedicated to the 13th anniversary of the liberation of Shushi took place in the French city of Marcel. The liturgy was served again seven years later in the Armenian church of St. Kiragos in Tigranagert. Azerbaijan's desecrated the Armenian church in the occupied village of Tog by tearing a domed cross. Shushi is again in captivity. Artsakh should always be Armenian. Aray Karutunyan. The Armenian Church Youth Organization Forum was held in the Armenian Diocese of Brazil. Settlement of Western Armenia, Mush. Armenian Square opened in Geneva. The ceremony took place in front of the Khachkar near the Armenian Church of Marcel. President of Republic of Western Armenia, participant of First Artsakh War, Armena Gabramian delivered a welcoming speech. This Khachkar is only one in all Europe and symbolizes the heroes of First Artsakh War, who having brought their breeze from Marcel, equaled it with the spirit of Western Armenia, Artsakh and Armenia, and were able to organize and participate until the end, until the Artsakh victory. As a person who prepared 50 people only for the celebration of Shushi. I can say that we defended our values with our support, maintaining discipline and resistance in all conditions, and we reached our goals 30 years ago. What I want to say is that let's go back to our values and prepare our children in such a way that we continue to fight, because this is our dynasty. Our children are also our values that help us continue the struggle. St. Kirakos Church located in a historical Sur quarter in Tigrana Kert of Western Armenia, which is the largest church of the Armenian community in the Middle East, has reopened seven years later. The liturgy was served with the participation of the Armenian Patriarch of Kastadnapol, Sahak Mashalyan. The ritual began with the ringing of bells. For many years, the church, which is in a half-destroyed state, was repaired and opened in 2012 by the efforts of the Armenian community and with the assistance of Mayor's Office of Tigrana Kert. However, the historic church was again closed to visitors due to damage during the conflicts of 2015-2016. The Armenian Church of St. Kirakos was built in 1376. Previously, the church built in a quarter of historical province of Sur, inhabited by numerous Armenians, served the Armenians until the genocide of 1915. Azerbaijan's desecrated the Armenian church in the occupied village of Tog, tearing the domed cross. Political scientist Gaigi Kambadan wrote about this on his Facebook page. May 9th in the history of the Armenian people is a symbol of their freedom, loving and spirit, bravery and boundless love for the motherland, devotion and self-sacrifice. During the Great Patriotic War, our grandfathers, together with other peoples of Soviet Union, fought against the greatest evil, against humanity, fascism. Their heroic traditions were continued by subsequent generations. Thirty years ago, forming a regular army from volunteer groups, achieving success in the military affairs of Shushi, and liberating the ancient Armenian fortress city. However, today Shushi is again in captivity, as are hundreds of our shrines and settlements, which are being destroyed and vandalized by Azerbaijan. Their goal is to completely eliminate the Armenian trace and the Armenians, flourishing on norms and principles of international law. Today, the security of Artsakh together with our defense army is provided by the peacekeeping contingent of Russian Federation. We are deeply grateful to our friends for being close to Artsakh people and supporting them in every possible way. Internal glory and honor to those devoted to the motherland. According to the Armenian Church Youth Organization, on May 6, a forum was held in Sao Paulo, which was attended by young people of Armenian Diocese of Brazil. The Primate of Diocese, His Grace Bishop Narek Berberian, delivered a welcoming speech. He read the message of Catholicos of all Armenians, Garigin II, to the forum of participants. The forum ended with a local Armenian club with a meeting with the use of a more expanded composition. The Young Council for Armenian Diocese of Brazil, consisting of seven young people and an adult committee of three people were elected. The participants of the forum were presented with certificates and Armenian crosses and icons blessed by the Mother Sea of Holy Ejmiadzin. Dvenik, Vartenis, Til, Noshen, Garni, Arinchvang. These settlements today are located within the borders of Bagesh and Mush of occupied Western Armenia. Despite the fact that they have Kurdish and Turkish names, the locals still call them by Armenian names. 
In the late 19th and early 20th century, one of the Sanjangs of Bagesh province's Mush was divided into five districts. Currently, Mush is a city that is the center of province of the same name. Mush has always been an important historical and cultural center in the history of Armenia. Before the genocide of Armenians, there were 299 churches, 94 monasteries and 135 schools in Mush. In 1914, 75,623 Armenians lived in Mush, scattered in one 103 villages and towns. The ancient Armenian Mush was one of the most important centers of Tarom province. The ancient Armenian city of Tarom was the center of early Christianity in Western Armenia. After the genocide of 1915 and the destruction of the Armenian population of the city, the architecture of the city was also destroyed. The property of the Armenians was dispersed and schools, churches and monasteries were destroyed or used for other purposes. The opening ceremony of the Armenia Square was held in Tuan community of Geneva, district of Switzerland, next to the Armenian Apostolic Church of St. Jacob and the Armenian Center. The Armenian Embassy in Switzerland reported this on Facebook. During the event, the Armenian Ambassador to Switzerland, Andrani Nikovanisyan, Mayor of Town, Gay Lavogel, Chairman of Foundation, St. Grigor Lusavoric, Daniel Papazian delivered the speech. Ambassador of Anisyan in particular expressed gratitude to the mayor and members of Town City Council as well as to those representatives of the Armenian community, thanks to whose efforts the Armenian Square was opened. Now musical part Armenian song Andre My Shushi. <laughs> The full version of this video is available on Western Armenia's YouTube channel. This was all for today. Goodbye.